about once again the big cat posts the shutout for his second shutout of the week 28th of his career now he faced but 17 shots yet stone to the kraken tonight and the Tampa Bay has won. One of the stars of this game, Pierre Edouard Belmar, and he is with Gabby Shirley. You scored your first goal in a Tampa Bay Lightning uniform. Do you feel any different? Do you feel like you can play a little more free? Uh, I don't know if I feel like that. I just, it's nice to score. Obviously, it's even better when you win the game. So, um, yeah, you get the, the scoring legs. Uh, so it felt good. Your team is stringing together wins here. You're doing it without Kucherov, without Chernak, without Point. What does that say about the leadership of this team? Well, I think the, the next man mentality is working pretty well. We, we know we get good depth, and a lot of guys get to, to get more ice time than maybe they usually um, should get or would get. So we just kind of try to, to make the best out of the situation. And when those guys are going to come back, we're going to be buzzing even more. Andre Vasilevsky, he holds this team scoreless through one, through two, through three. Does that give you guys more confidence out there on the ice? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we didn't start the game the right way, and obviously he, he kept us in right away. So and then all through the game, every time they have a big chance, he's there, you know, to, to, to stop it. So when you have a goal like him behind you, you definitely feel a little bit more confident. That's something for sure. And Boris, you continue to show how tough you are out there on the ice. You got hit tonight hard. You were putting hits on guys when you got back in the game. Do you enjoy that aspect of this game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I just got to bring some energy to the team. And, um, you know, I'm just trying my best to, to keep, keep a consistent effort uh, day in, day out. So all I want to do is just, you know, help the boys. One regulation loss in the past 13 games for you guys. Do you like how your team is working together, especially missing some key pieces? Yeah, I mean, it's next guy up, and, you know, I think uh, you know, there's some big shoes to fill that there's, I mean, they're, they're kind of hard to actually replicate, but, um, you know, they're, they're, there's guys in that room that, um, you know, are adapting to the change, and, you know, I think we're adapting really well. And the kid line, you are part of that line. First and foremost, I got to know if you like that nickname, your thoughts on it, and also what are you guys doing so well to just generate lots of scoring chances, lots of energy out there on the ice? It's just sticking together. Um, I mean, if we're in the D zone one shift, we're just trying to come back and, and go in the O zone or, or create some energy or create some, you know, positive plays to, to impact the game. And, you know, I think we're doing that well. And, um, you know, we just got to keep going. I'm circling back. The nickname. What are your oh, yeah. thoughts? Uh, the nickname is really good. Um, we love it in the room, so it's good. Ross, how do you feel about that effort overall? I mean, it's like even towards the end, you guys were pushing it in their zone, even with like a three goal lead. Just what do you like? Uh, yeah, no, I really liked our game tonight, you know. Obviously, shout out to Vaz. He played unbelievable. I think there was times where, you know, we were a little soft in front of him, and you know, he's back there. He's kicking all the time. So, um, definitely credit to him. And then I thought in the third period we did a great job of just, you know, shutting him down. I think, you know, we had that. I think it was two goal lead, and you know, we didn't want to let off the brakes at all. And uh, you know, just from that start of the third period, the first shift, I thought we just controlled the play and you know, shut him down in the third there, which was just a great effort by everyone. Think of that. The Yanni tribute and the ovation from the crowd. Uh, yeah, no, it was awesome. You know, was fortunate enough to you know talk to him this morning and kind of just catch up a little bit. And then honestly, sitting on the bench, we were just kind of joking. That gave us all chills. Just you know, he's he's obviously a bolt for life and did so much for this organization. And you know, especially for me last year being a rookie, you know, I looked up to him from you know day one and tried to model my game kind of after him. And uh, so just that was that was awesome to see. I'm sure you know for him and his family, but uh, it was definitely kind of a little emotional for him. I'm sure. Ross, are there ever like moments where you haven't been around Vasilevsky in person that long, but I mean, you're still just kind of shaking your head at how what he does night in and night out is even possible? Yeah, no, he's he's unbelievable. He's you know obviously the best for a reason. Uh, just his work ethic and you know practice and the way he carries himself, you know, on and off the ice, and especially on game day, you know, he can't be messing with his routine. So uh, he he follows a strict regimen, and you know he's got to stick to it because uh, obviously it's working. So uh, you know night in and night out, we count on him, and maybe too much sometimes so I think we got to do a better job some you know sometimes uh, tighten it up because we might get too complacent because we know him he's back there but uh, just all around he's unbelievable third game in a row you played with the lead early goals how important is that 
yeah, it's it's huge, obviously, uh, to play with the lead. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, we uh, sit back too much, I think, when we get the lead. But, you know, tonight I thought we did a great job of, you know, sticking to it. We just, even when it was up to nothing, we didn't want to sit back. And uh, it just gives us a little bit more confidence to, you know, play our game and, you know, kind of just get pucks deep and, you know, work their defensemen. Uh, you know, we knew they had a young team back there and uh, just kind of wanted to get it on the forecheck, you know, right from the start of the game. And I think we did a good job of that. And then, you know, getting one early obviously helps. So it was good. What makes your line work so well, you think, you know, in terms of the together? I know you've had some chemistry there, but that goal will seem like it was typical of your line. Uh, yeah, I think just, you know, like you said, we have good chemistry. We played played together in Syracuse a bunch, and, you know, we're best friends off the ice. So we kind of just like to, you know, have fun with it. And, you know, the minute they put us together, they just said, you know, kind of form an identity. And I think we've uh, been trying to do that from, you know, the first game that we've played together. And it's just, you know, play physical, play fast, you know. Uh, once Boris came and started playing with me and Rowdy, I think he just brings another dynamic on that forecheck. And, you know, you see the speed that he brings. And then, you know, Taylor's got an unbelievable shot and, you know, does a great job down below as well. So I think we kind of just feed off each other and are honestly just trying to have fun with it and kind of joke around. I think someone called us like the kid line or something, but we were like, I mean, I'm like 25. So I was like, I'm, I'm not a kid. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. They were teasing me. They're like, yeah, you're not a kid anymore. So, but hey, whatever, whatever's working. You're all around 23, 25, right? So you're not all. Yeah, I think they're like 24, <laughs> too. So they're not young either. <laughs> Ross, what's going through your head when you see Boris go down the way he did tonight and then obviously the way he came back and was able to play through the rest of the game there? Uh, yeah, no, it was awesome. He, he did a great job taking the puck to the net, tried to make a play, and I didn't really see what happened until afterwards. I didn't know if it was kind of a dirty hit or not. I thought... You know, maybe he could have let up a little bit, but I don't know. I'm sure the defense been just playing hard and, you know, doing his job. And for him to, you know, get hit like that, I was kind of nervous. When I saw him laying in the net, like, backwards, basically. And uh, he popped right back up afterwards and, you know, got looked at and then came out that first shift and almost had a breakaway and scored. So, uh, you know, he's just a warrior. He, you know, battles night in and night out, and, you know, he'll stick up for anyone on the team. So he's, he's just a great teammate all around. Also, what did you know you were going to get the uh, matchup against uh, Gordo, and what was that like to go against him? Uh, yeah, didn't know until, you know, they, you know, announced the starting lineup in the locker room before the game. And uh, I think it just, you know, goes to show that Coop's kind of getting some more trust in us. I think, you know, that Gordo's obviously an unbelievable player. So for us to be matched against him, it's it's an honor, really. And, uh, you know, from, from puck drop, we knew that we were going to get his best, you know, coming back to Tampa. So we wanted to do a kind of good job of just, you know, containing him, kind of maybe trying to get him off his game a little bit, get a body on him early. But, uh, you know, he's an unbelievable player. He's, he's tough to, you know, shut down. So, you know, he was creating chances. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought our line did a good job. No, it's all business once the game gets started. Was there any chirping back and forth even before the face-off with, with Yanni? <laughs> uh, no, he's, he's all business when the puck drops. So just, you know, tap on the shin guards and, you know, good luck, I think, was all that was said. And then from there on, it was just, you know, battling. What do you want the line to be called instead of the kid line? What? Uh, what should it be called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'll have to think of something. I don't know. <laughs> a couple of shutouts in a row here. Just how have you felt about your game? Uh. Not bad, I guess. Uh, I mean, I thought we played uh, uh, really good. Uh, maybe last, I don't know, 10 games. Um, I mean, I, I thought we, we've been playing uh, good the whole season. Just uh, uh, I think that, uh, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't there a uh, few games. So, um, but yeah, great effort, especially last two games. Yeah. Defensively, especially in front of you, what have been the biggest in the last ten games? Has been the biggest difference you think of maybe? Uh, you know what? I, as I said, I thought uh, we played well. I don't know how, how many games we played. Nineteen. So I, I thought maybe eighteen games we played like, just great. You know, as I said, some some games I just didn't play well uh, clearly, and uh, I give up too many, and that's why. I, uh, it, it looks like we played bad, but it wasn't. It wasn't like that. So it was. It was on me. Jesse, tonight was your 200th career win. You took just 318 games to get to that point. What does this mean to you? Um, yeah, a, a big achievement. Uh, I'm proud of it. But uh, obviously, I want to thank my teammates for that because you know I, I can, can win. On my own, so uh, it's a just a great teamwork. So, the last three games, the team has scored an early goal. Does that help your confidence? Then, 
Yeah, obviously, uh, you wanna, in my opinion, uh, you wanna score first to feel confident, and uh, it gives you kind of, uh, I don't know, momentum, I guess. And um, yeah, we were uh, pretty successful last uh, few games, scoring first. You think of the the Yanni tribute and the ovation that the fans gave him. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, even I watched watched it, even though I never look uh, look up at the, uh, at the screen. So, uh, yeah, he's a great player, a good player. Uh, the big part, I mean, he was big big part of our um, of our of our franchise, and uh, just a great player, great guy, two standing cups, well, well deserved. Well, unfortunately, expansion draft, you know, just part part of the game, part of the business. But um, I, I hope he'll be he'll be all right there. You don't have Kucherov or Point or, or Chernak, and you've still been able to obviously pick up a lot of wins here. Just why do you think the group has been able to kind of find a way, you know, even without some really good, you know, talented players there? Yeah, um, you know, uh, they're obviously a big uh, part of our team, and uh, f for sure when they. Uh, when they will come back, they will give us uh, that uh, you know, I know extra extra push, extra power, so uh, extra energy, uh, more emotions. But uh, you know, we still have uh, have lots of good players in our uh, in our group, and we're just uh, working hard. That's the the recipe uh, uh, to be to be a good team. Just uh, work hard, play hard, and you know, stick with the plan.